A multiply by B, multiply by C, multiply by D, multiply by E. Okay. So let's say A is equal to your base damage. Butch. Like this, I'm gonna share the entire screen. Boop, boop. Voila. So A is equal to your base damage. B will be equal to, uh, let's say, uh, monsters skills. C will be equal to active skills. And this is where it becomes interesting. D will be equal to your item. And E will be equal to hell. All right. The thing is, within D, the, the amounts are additive. That means that if you're getting a plus 100% and another plus 100%, it won't do multiply by 4. It will be multiplied by 3. Because 100 plus 100 makes plus 200%, which makes multiply by 3. Hang on, the phone's ringing. There you go. So that's why, like, in that group here, everything, in every single group here, every group here are additive, but they are multiplied by together. So, if you get, uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you get, like, the more item that you get, the less effective those item becomes. Does that make, does that make sense? Uh, I actually have another one. Put. The other one will be the orbs. Orbs. Voilà. So right now it's like this. Uh, because it's way easier to balance. Like the fun is when you unlock a new group, it goes like poo 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 multiplier is very cool. And then after a while it fades out a bit. Uh, but the, the way we can do that, why we did that, is because we can go like exponential on this group or on this group, or on this group, so it's way easier to, you know, make one big fucking item that makes it, everything big stronger, like, at one point. You're like, oh, big update, and then you do, uh, like, oh my god, a big item, but the second time you get that item, it, because it becomes less as effective, because the first time you get, like, a big freaking bonus, the second time you get the exact same freaking bonus, is actually just a bonus of 50 exp uh, of 50 points of uh, it's actually just a bonus of 50 percent let me explain for example uh, if your damage or your DPS is equal to one all right you get an item that gives you multiply by 100 so I'm gonna say like plus this percentage all right you get an item that gives you this a thousand ten thousand percentage oh my god that brings you to a hundred dps oh uh, actually it's a hundred one so that brings you to this because this is actually equal to multiply by 101 the second time you get that addition you actually get this which becomes a total of that let's say that you get another one you get a total of this this is two your total it becomes this all right so the first time the gap between here and here the gap is freaking big it's like 10 times better so it's like oh my god it's freaking awesome the second time you get the item the gap between here and here that's exactly multiplied by two because like the first time is like that you think, sure right sure right so that's why uh that's what i'm talking about like the more item or the more of this thing that you get inside of the group uh the less effective it becomes because if you get yet another one here, that will become to uh, DPS 300. I said three. 
So the gap between this and this becomes 60 per, uh, 50%. So like multiply by 1.5. So that, that's what I'm talking about. Like right now, you might say like, well, why do you do that? It's boring. Uh, it's not boring. It's like, it depends on the way you work with it. There's a little chest with you guys. It depends on the way. Like this, for example, is, is freaking stupid. Like, out of the blue, BAM! A hundred times! And then the second time you get it, it's like way less effective. That's really bad balancing. But the point is, it allows us to give like... In, the, in each group, it allows us to have, like, at one point, unlock a new item that gives you a big freaking bonus, you know? For example, I don't know, uh, for the first part of the game, let's say... Uh, what was the item? The item was... Uh, wow, that's beautiful. The item is D. Let's say that for the first part of the game, you get items that are in D1. So D1 will always provide you item that gives you a bonus of between this percentage and this percentage, for example. So for a long while, you're stuck in there, and then uh, after playing and playing and playing, usually when you unlock the second part here, I'm gonna add two zeros here, like, we can say, okay, when you unlock D2, the items in D2, the user should approximately have around, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, that's boring. Let's say, let's add another zero. We're gonna say, like, when it unlocks D2, usually we can expect the player to have around 500%. Yay, so the first time he gets it, it's, it's multiplied by three, so, whoa, that's pretty good. And then it fades out a bit, but then we can unlock a new kind of item, for example. That does exactly the same thing. Boop, 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 boop. Again, this is just an example, you know. But that allows us to give content that, that matters, instead of just, like, stacking multiply by two on top of, a, of another... Uh, we wanted to make like, okay, this is like rare item, or this is really fucking awesome item, or this building in hell is pretty cool, or whatever, you know? So, instead of having everything tied in together very tight, and like, oh, if we do that there, well, it's gonna fucked up the rest of the game. Instead of that, we actually can, we isolated part of the game so we can go like crazy in one group or crazy in the other group. I've been babbling for like, what, 15